If you have your word and you know your God, you will know what to do. I will not tell you to stand up. I will not tell you to kneel down. If from what you have seen in scripture, you don't understand it yet, then we have to teach you. You don't know the Lord. Okay? You do not know the Lord. And we have to help you. But if you've read the word and you've seen how our brothers who don't even know have copied what we do, then you should know every time, not just in a gathering, anywhere you find yourself, there is a way to worship. There is a way they worship in heaven. There is a reverence they give. If you give it in your heart, it has to reflect in the physical. 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 Your options are in the word. This is you ministering to the Lord, not the Lord ministering to you. If the Lord is ministering to you, he can do whatever he wants with you. He can suspend you. But if it's you worshiping the Lord who is seated on his throne, you have no business sitting to worship the Lord seated on his throne. You have no business doing that. You cannot sit and worship a God sitting on his throne. You and him are not mates. You are not competing for position. You are not. So you cannot be sitting down. You cannot. It is disrespectful to the Lord. It is disrespectful to the Lord. If you truly see the Lord, you will not do some things. You won't. You won't. You will not do some things. If the Lord truly shows himself to you, if you do anything otherwise, you are operating in pride. And the Lord resists the proud. He resists the proud. He resists the proud. He resists the proud. They are acceptable positions before the Lord. And you have to take one. You have to take one. Every time you gather. Every time you worship. Even in your house. You have to take one of those positions. Is either you are bowing to your Lord or you are standing for your Lord or you are kneeling for your Lord you can't be sitting and worshipping your Lord but if he's ministering to you you can even be sleeping the Lord can minister to you sleeping but you cannot do some things and you cannot be lost for words you should have your words to say to the Lord you should have your words to say to the Lord. You should have your words to say to the Lord. This is not the time to show your power. This is not the time to show what you are. This is the time to humble yourself before the Lord and he will exalt you. You will humble yourself and he will exalt you. You don't come to him prophet you don't come to him 
worship. We reverence you. Jesus, we worship. Jesus, we worship. Jesus, we worship. I reverence you. Jesus, I worship. Jesus, I worship.
we stand before you. We drop our position before you. We drop everything we are before you. We drop it all, Jesus. We surrender to you. We submit to your will, God. We surrender to you. We submit to your will, God. We surrender to you. We submit to your will, God. We surrender to you. We submit to your will, God. We submit to you. We surrender. We surrender. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. We surrender. We surrender. We surrender. We surrender to you, Lord. We surrender our dreams to you. We surrender our positions to you. Whatever we are, whatever we have, Lord. We surrender to you, God. We surrender. Ah. We submit. Here lies our power. Here lies our power. In the place of surrender, we have power. In the place of surrender, we have power. In the place of submission, we have power. In the place of submission, we have power. When we submit, when we submit, when we submit, we have authority. We have authority. We have authority. When we lie and bow before you, Lord.
surrender this is when we truly have power when we can surrender everything we are when we can surrender everything we are that is when we have power that is when we have power we surrender we surrender we surrender we are no more foolish we have revelation of how to worship we are no more foolish we have revelation of how to worship you we are no more foolish we have revelation they know that even with their crowns and achievements the only thing they do is to bow and declare holy 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 that is their powerful place Whether they are 
their church ushers or their choir leaders or their backup singers or their prayer warriors or their evangelists or their pastors or their deliverance ministers the highest place is to bow and kneel before God the elders they know that the angels they know it so no matter the activity you have been given to do no matter the responsibility they have given you in church no matter the name they call it your most powerful place is when you can drop all when you can drop all and bow before the Lord there is no higher calling he is the one that calls he is the one that chooses people so he said there is no higher calling even though he chose you and he called you he is not higher than this calling the calling of worshipping and bowing before that's what the elders do that's what the angels do when it is time they cast their crowns they don't think of that they are elders they cast their crowns and they bow that is their ultimate job that is their ultimate job their ultimate duty there is no higher calling that is where you are honored where you can bow you are honored where you can bow you are honored where you can bow you are honored to win your battles let him embrace you with mercy if you can bow he will embrace you with mercy like he did the children of Israel like when Pharaoh was coming he embraced them with mercy and parted the Red Sea you need to learn to bow no matter your position every time you worship except if the Lord is ministering to you like I said but if it's you worshipping the Lord there are acceptable positions you can't sit I'm telling you today and I'm not just saying when you come to church I'm saying in your house when you are worshipping I'm saying in your closet when it's just you and God the acceptable position is to bow to kneel to stand except the Lord is ministering to you it is disrespect to, disrespectful for the king of glory to be sitting and you to decide to sit with him since he's your paddy not knowing where to give him reverence where to give him reverence and let me tell you the church is stubborn we don't hear word that's our issue they can do more because they would connect and they will agree but the church will be stubborn that's when some people will tell you they have spiritual maturity and authority more than some people the highest place of your worship is where you can bow you cannot be worshiping the Lord and you don't know the right position you take John they didn't tell him he fell as dead when he saw the Lord if you don't take those positions you have not seen when you see and you might not see physically you have seen in the scripture when you see you should take position Down at your feet, 
Oh Lord, I'm sure the song is making sense to you. It's the most high place in your presence, Lord. I seek your face. I seek your face. Why are you seeking his face in his presence? Why do you still have to seek his face in his presence? Why do you have to seek his face in his presence? You have to come humble yourself and ask for mercy. Perhaps he will have mercy. Because he says, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. It is not of him. It's not by your willpower. So you have to come seeking his face. Perhaps the Lord will be merciful to me today. And show me his favor. And show me his love. And show me his kindness. And show me his victory. Perhaps the Lord will be merciful to us today. As a people. And as a nation. And show us his glory. And show us his face. Perhaps the Lord will be merciful. If we humble ourselves. Perhaps the Lord will be merciful. If we submit ourselves. Perhaps the Lord will be merciful. On our country. If we submit ourselves, perhaps the Lord will be merciful if we drop our pride. Perhaps the Lord will be merciful if we drop our ego. Perhaps the Lord will be merciful if we drop everything. Perhaps he will be merciful to us and show us his mercy and his favor. your glory embraced by your mercy oh Lord I live to worship you down at your feet oh Lord is the most I place in your presence, Lord, I seek your face. I seek your face. Cause there is no higher calling, no greater honor than to Jesus. Jesus. 
We bow down and we worship Jesus. Oh, ya na ma ko ya la na ma e. We bow down and we worship Jesus. We bow down and we worship Jesus. We
the only one who can part the Red Sea. The only one who can raise the dead. Oh. The one who called the earth into being. Oh. The one who breathed life into man. Oh. Jesus, 
You are Jesus. You are Jesus. You are the King of glory. You are the Lord strong and mighty. You are Jesus. You are Jesus. The double breasted one.
You are Jesus, Alpha and Omega. You are Jesus, Alpha and Omega. You are warrior, Alpha and Omega. for you when you don't know who he is how do you use a weapon you don't know what he is Jesus the resurrected king the one who conquered death the one who destroyed death sicknesses and trials he destroyed them and then he ascended you probably don't know what you're saying when you say this is who you are when you say you are the son of your father you see the person saying yes I am and I will show you that I'm the son of my father. So when you are saying he is Jesus, he will show you that he is Jesus. So all you do is call him who he is and then he will show you who he is. When you call and know who he is, then he will show you. He will arise on your behalf. You probably don't understand. You want them to give you prayer points, commanding the devil to flee. That's what you want. But when you say you are Jesus, when I say he's Jesus, he's the one that said it is finished. He said it, that it is finished. So when I know the one who says it is finished, then my battles are over. It is finished. You are Jesus. Yes, you are Jesus. You are Jesus. those troubles this is warfare this is warfare you are telling them David said to Goliath I come in the name of the Lord I don't come with sword I do not come with spears but I come in the name of the Lord that is the name that has been given to me to fight with that's the name that has been given to me to battle with that is the name so you look at barrenness and you say he is Jesus 
to come. When your mother-in-law have said awful things to you, just because you can't produce, just because you cannot produce, He is your defender. Uh, your defender. You are my defender. Uh, you are my defender. 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 For you and you will hold your peace he will fight for you and you will hold your peace one of the guys playing the keyboard got a call from a babalao who said who called his name and called his mother's name and said, they told me to kill you guys, but I cannot. It's not home video. One of these guys playing. The apple is called to say, they gave me your name and your mother's name, but like Balaam, I can't. Your defender, when you don't even know they are calling your name, is your defender. When you don't know they have submitted your name, he is your defender. He is your defender. He is your defender. Everywhere they are calling your name for evil, he is your defender. You are my defender. You are my defender. If the Lord opened your eyes, if the Lord opened your eyes to see the things He delivers you from daily, you will not have any ego before Him. You will just look at yourself and say, Is this me? If He opens your eyes to see what He saves you from daily, constantly, every minute, every hour, you will humble yourself. You are my defender. When they are calling my name in the covenant of darkness, you are my defender. Your name is a strong tower. I run into it and I am safe. You are my defender. Your name is a strong tower. We have not even started and some are tired they don't have words anymore words are over and you want to worship for eternity yet your words are over in less than two minutes you're already staring in less than two hours you're already distracted you're already looking around in less than two hours your worship is over no more words you're already looking about no more words for you again. You have said all you need to say to, say to the Lord. All your words are finished. In less than, what am I saying? In less than one hour. All your words are finished, Abby. And we want to worship for eternity. Some of us are already tired of kneeling down. Some of us are already tired of standing up. And we want to worship for eternity. And the reason you are tired is because you are allowing your flesh and your ego to interfere with your worship. That is why you are tired. Because the spirit is sufficient for you. You are my helper. My defender. You are my helper. If he's your helper, you will tell him. My helper. My helper. My very own helper. He is victorious helper. Victorious defender, he's victorious helper, he's the 
our helper, Alpha and Omega. You are helper, beginning and the end. You are Jesus. You are beginning and you are the end. You are Jesus, Alpha and Omega. No matter where my problem starts from, you are beginning and you are the end. Alpha and Omega. No matter the root of my problems, you are beginning and you are the end. Alpha and Omega. It doesn't matter when it starts, you have been before it and you will be after it. You will continue to be. You are Jesus. It doesn't matter how long you are. Put into one. 
Jesus is the healer. Jesus is the defender. Jesus is the helper. Jesus is the sustainer. You are Jesus. He is the body bearer. You are Jesus. You are the way, the truth, and the life. You are Jesus. There is no other way. There is no other truth. You are Jesus. You are Jesus. You are Jesus. You are Jesus. You are my backbone. You are Jesus. You are Jesus. You are my backbone. You are Jesus. All these other names we call him is into one, and that is Jesus. But he has revealed himself to you in different ways. You should be able to call him those ways. He's the one that shows forth at the nick of time. He has done it for me severally. He will show up just some minutes to 12. He will show up. The deadline is 12. He will show up 20 minutes to 12. He has done it many times over for me. He's the one that shows up, that comes to my rescue. What is he to you? How has he revealed himself to you? How have you experienced him? How has he revealed his power to you? Because he keeps revealing himself. You should be able to call him the names that he has revealed himself to you as. Stop staring. Stop looking. Stop being lost for words. There are things you can say. Is he not the lover of your soul? Has he not loved you with an everlasting love? Is he not the one that shows you mercy? How come you don't have words? How come you don't have words? Is he not your father? I will tell them to stop the music. You should find what? You waited. When I didn't know you, you waited. Jesus, you waited for me. When I didn't know you, you waited. Jesus, you waited for me. When I didn't serve you, you
think about it. You waited for me. Jesus, you waited for me. Where would I be if you left me, God? Where would I be if you left me? Where would I be if you left me? Where would I be? He left Pharaoh for destruction. He left him for destruction. And you know his story. The Lord left him for destruction. The Lord left him for destruction. He left Judas for destruction. Judas didn't have the opportunity you and I had to repent. He didn't have it. He left them to their ways. He left them. Listen, Judas was with him. Judas was eating with him. Judas was dining with him. Judas was counting his money. Judas was doing everything. Judas was doing serious activity. And the Lord left him. The Lord knew he was erring. The Lord left him till he destroyed himself. Imagine if the Lord left you. Imagine if he left you. This is where your power is. Realizing him. Realizing your position. And realizing his position. And his power. That's what gives you power to overcome. Where would you be? If the Lord decided to leave you. In Revelations, he sent rebuke to the churches because he loved them. What we call love is to leave me alone, let me do what I want. But in Revelation, he sent rebuke to them. He said, you have left your first love. Return to it. He would have been quiet to say, let them continue. And there are a lot of people who are doing their activity and the Lord is not involved he's not involved they are winning souls the Lord is not involved with them the souls will be counted though the souls they win will be counted the souls they win will be counted but they are not counted and the Lord has left them to do activity in the name of the Lord they will say I cast out demons in your name I heal the sick in your name. And yet he will say, depart from me. You workers of iniquity. I know you not. Submit yourself to God. Resist the devil. That's where your authority is. Submit and then resist. Submit and then resist. Imagine if he didn't wait. Where would I be? If you decided to destroy me in my sin, where would I be? If you took my breath away on the bed of fornication, where would I be? If you left me, God, where would I be? Jesus, you were. Thank you for waiting for me. Thank you for waiting for me. Thank you for waiting. With my youthful exorbitance, thank you for waiting. Thank you for waiting. In my foolishness, thank you for waiting. Thank you for waiting. In my foolishness, thank you for waiting. 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 Jesus, you waited. Oh, thank you for waiting. Thank you. 
be now people can look at me and say I want to be like you people can look at me and say I want to be like you I want to serve the Lord like you they can look at me and say I want to know the Lord like you if he didn't wait will I stand here will I kneel here if he didn't wait that people want to emulate me if Jesus didn't wait people want to emulate Victoria thank you for waiting Lord thank you for waiting for us thank you for waiting for Thank you for waiting for us. Thank you for waiting for us. Thank you for waiting for us. warfare but I tell you no mountain is standing now I'm not praying I'm declaring the reality to you down at his feet is the strongest place down at his feet is where you are powerful if you know how to kneel you know how to stand I don't see mountains and I mean it I don't see them because Jesus is highly exalted above all Jesus is highly exalted what do you see what do you see you are Jesus You are Jesus. You are Jesus. 
see Jesus highly exalted above every throne above every power above every principalities Jesus he's exalted Jesus he's higher Jesus is lifted problem is tell me tell me where your problem is when the Lord is highly exalted above all what do you see what do you see you need to command yourself to see your reality I see Jesus Highly exalted above my worries, above my problems, above everything that disturbs me, above everything that makes me unhappy. Jesus is highly exalted. He's ruling. He's ruling. He's ruling. He's reigning. Jesus is reigning. Jesus is reigning. Jesus is reigning. Jesus. Jesus is ready. Get up, sick attire. Jesus is ready. Jesus is ready. Hey, you're the most attacked. This is the time to rejoice if you can see in the spirit. Jesus, highly exalted. Jesus is exalted. Jesus is exalted. Above every principalities and every power. Above cancer. Above foreigners. Jesus is exalted. Jesus is exalted. He is exalted. Open your eyes to see Jesus is reigning. Jesus is reigning. Jesus is reigning over your affairs. Jesus is reigning. He is reigning. He is reigning. He is reigning. He is reigning. Yes. Holding you and 
mocking you. You don't know where Jesus is. You don't know where he is. You don't know his position in your life. Where is Jesus? Where are your troubles? Where are those that trouble you? Where are those that trouble you? Before the Lord. Where are those that trouble you? Before the Almighty. Where are those that trouble you? Before the Almighty. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they?
every time you want to engage battle find Jesus when you find Jesus submit yourself to Jesus when you submit yourself to Jesus resist the devil and he will flee so are you submitted to Jesus have you found Jesus and are you submitted to him so now declare now resist the devil if you have found Jesus and you see Jesus highly lifted now speak resist the devil resist the devil in the name of Jesus we resist you devil we resist you devil we resist you now you need to hear again if you have found Jesus and you have submitted to Jesus now resist the devil now speak the word to the devil it is written concerning me and my family it is written concerning you devil your end has been written about your end has been talked about this is your end in scripture so if you know the word of the Lord this is the time to take the word of the Lord to the devil and resist him you will not go near my household the Lord is with me the Lord is my rock I am hidden in Christ the Lord is my help the Lord is my help the name of the Lord is a strong tower I run into it and I am saved you see when they tell some of you to read scripture you will not read now you don't have words to say when the devil comes you'll be looking eh, eh, eh. this is the time to quote the word what is written concerning you what did the Lord write concerning you what did the Lord write concerning the devil what this is the time to you know in law they will say I put it to you this is the time to put it to the devil this is the word of the Lord concerning me and my household. As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. No matter what you do, no matter how you try, this is the word of the Lord. So if I were you, I would start to declare the word of the Lord concerning my future, concerning my destiny, concerning my past, concerning my now. This is the word of the Lord. This is the word. This is the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord says, I am the head. I am not the tail. The word of the Lord says, I will overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of my testimony. This is what the word of the Lord says. of your testimony this is what deliverance is it's not for you to wait for one pastor to lay hands on you the words for your deliverance are in your mouth power of life and death are in the tongue they are in your tongue you need to start engaging listen I'm not saying anything is wrong when they pray for you but you can bind and you can lose with your mouth what is wrong with it are you dumb no so why are you not binding 
Why are you not resisting? When you are submitted. When you are submitted. Why are you not resisting? Why are you not speaking into your destiny? Why are you not declaring what should be? Why are you not bringing down every I think? Why are you not bringing down everything that does not glorify God? If you have submitted, why are you not speaking? The power to deliver your destiny and that of your family members is in your tongue. Begin to declare. Begin to declare. I have been set free. He who the Son sets free is free indeed. I have been broken from my father's lineage, from my mother's lineage. I have been broken. The blood of Jesus speaks for me better things than the blood of Abel. The blood of Jesus speaks for my destiny better things than the blood of Abel. It speaks. Hey, the blood of Jesus speaks better things into my destiny better things into my future than the blood of Abel I overcome by the blood of Jesus every tongue that rises against me in judgment I condemn in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I condemn you in the name of Jesus the Lord will fight for me and I will hold my peace the Lord is the mighty man of war the Lord is his name the Lord is his name Every mountain come down in the name of Jesus. Every anything come down in the name of Jesus. Every mountain come down in the name of Jesus. Speak into your destiny. Speak. Don't be quiet. Speak. Don't be quiet. Speak. Speak into your future. Speak into your life. Speak into your life. Speak into the life of your children. Speak into your life. Every 
death that kills them in your family will not kill you it will not it stops with you that is the decree of the Lord everything that affects them in my destiny it will not affect me in my family it will not affect me I have been broken off by the blood of Jesus the Lord Jesus is my victory Jesus is your victory you see with that same seal with that same seal you will pray for this nation remember I said with that same seal because when we pray for ourselves we use all the power we can get we forget that the nation is us Nigeria is you and I if you don't pray with that much vigor the way you pray for yourself then something is wrong with you. Because when you pray with vigor, when you sow, you will surely reap. When you sow in prayer for your nation, you will reap. The same way you have been commanding, and let me tell you, the Lord has heard you. The same way you are commanding those that hold you down in your family, now begin to command in the name of Jesus, those that hold us down as a nation begin to command that the Lord will arise against them that he will break their secret places he will destroy their secret places he will destroy Nigeria will be free whether they like it or not the Lord has set Nigeria free and we are free indeed as a nation as a people Please, listen, I beg you, you need to pray from your heart. I was at a meeting, they were praying for themselves and they were praying like they were going to die. And the minute we said pray for Nigeria, they sat down. <laughs> they sat down looking, forgetting that they are Nigeria. Where else do you claim? This is your country, this is your land. Bible says you should love one another the way you love yourself so please love this nation the way you love yourself and begin to declare the kingdom of God in Nigeria let the kingdom of God come and let it bring judgment upon every leader upon every cabal that has decided to hold us bound for years the Lord brings judgment against you now in the name of Jesus the Lord brings judgment against you in the name of Jesus the Lord brings judgment we are free indeed the Lord has set us free in Nigeria and we are free indeed we command we command every cabal hear the word of the Lord release us remove your hand from us release us you have held us captive enough. Release us in the name of Jesus. Release us in the name of Jesus. Release us. Every power of witches that has held us bound. Release us. Every power of the occult that has held us bound. Release us. Release us. We want to serve our Lord. Release us as a people. Release us as a nation release us in the name of Jesus release us release us release us let us go and worship our Lord let us go set us free set us free lose us lose us lose us there is a stigma that comes with being in Nigeria. The minute you are in Nigeria, there is a stigma that comes. There is a stigma that comes with being in Nigeria. You take your passport and they disdain you. 
because of some people who have held us bound. I know some people have other passports. It's okay. But when push comes to shove, you will find your passport. This is the country you have. The Lord, we ask that he will remove every shame, every stigma that comes with us. And it's a few people that have put it there. They go and come the way they want. They fly the way they want. They are not restricted because of the money they embezzle and keep. But you and I suffer for their activities. We suffer for their misconduct. We suffer for their misbehavior. And so we ask that the kingdom of God will come now. And when the kingdom of God comes, judgment comes. He will judge them and their household. He will judge them. The judgment of the Lord is coming. Declare that the judgment of the Lord will come. Declare it that the judgment of the Lord will come. Nigeria is set free. Nigeria is set loose. Don't let your strength be weary now. Pray for your nation. Pray with every strength you can find. This is what you have. This is what you have. We speak to the land of Nigeria. We declare to the land of Nigeria. We say, hear the word of the Lord. You will be fruitful. We speak to stagnation in the name of Jesus. We speak to stagnation. Hear the word of the Lord, Nigeria. You will fly. You will fly. You have been stretched for deep snakes broken and you are free in the name of Jesus. This snare is broken and you are free in the name of Jesus. This snare is broken and you are free in the name of Jesus. Nigeria is free. Nigeria is free in the name of Jesus. Nigeria is free. Nigeria is free. This snare is broken. We have escaped. 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 This snare is broken. This snare is broken. This snare is broken. This snare is broken. We have escaped. We have escaped. We have escaped. This snare is broken. We have escaped. In the name of Jesus. We have escaped. The Bible says pray without ceasing. So I beg you, when you go to your home, pray for Nigeria with this same strength. The same one you pray for yourself. The way you will dig it down with the devil when it comes to you or your children or your home. Declare over Nigeria. We will not stop praying. The Lord will hear us. He has heard us and we will not stop praying. The snare is broken. We have escaped. Always declare it over Nigeria. The snare is broken. Every occult snare is broken. In the name of Jesus. Every stronghold is broken. Please. Pray for your nation. Dig it with the devil. Don't, don't spare him. Whether somebody is seeing you or not. Just you and him. Dig it with him. Don't spare him. Declare the word of the Lord over this nation. Google is there. If you don't know where the words are, if you type prayer for the nation, what Bible passages will just say scripture about this. They will come up. And it's okay. Don't feel bad like you must, some, you can't even find things in the scripture. Sometimes. That's how you can use technology to your advantage. So if you need words to declare, Go on Google, type this, and you will see scriptures, and then you can write them out, go back to the Bible, open them, start to declare those words over your life, over your nation. You are Jesus. You are Jesus. You are Jesus. You are 
are Jesus. You are Jesus. Hey, you are Jesus. us to declare so forgive me 
if I don't meet your specs of worship leader I don't want to I honor one person Jesus forgive me if you don't like me it's okay I don't want you to I honor one person Jesus if he says say this I will say it even if you look at me as a fool so be it I can suffer in his suffering they rejected him so if they reject me it's not a big deal you are Jesus you are Jesus, Jesus. and you see as I say it understanding is coming as I say it revelation is coming as I say it freedom is coming as I say it liberty is coming as I say it I'm set free as I say it I've escaped as I'm saying I'm free I am free nothing more than me bound because I know Jesus president is my friend do you know that the president is my like he eats on, in my plate we eat together he's Jesus Jesus is my friend Jesus eats with me dines with me communicates with me you are Jesus you are my friend you are Jesus I too can be proud yeah you are Jesus you are Jesus. Hey, you are Jesus. Hey, you are Jesus. So this note is about prayer for flood. We know what's happening in Bonu. Is that it? Makodi. Right? So we should pray against the flood. Not just in Makodi, but in Nigeria. Okay? So that's what this note is. So, let's pray. Don't wait for me. They just brought you. It's like... Every floor 
me tell you why you need to pray. Where are we? Lagos. Is Lagos surrounded by water? Is it? Thank you. Lagos is below. If we as much have ho, not hurricane, ho. Not, don't call it in full. That's too much. If we just have little ho, we are below sea level already. But the Lord preserves us. The hurricane will swell from here, from Africa, and go all the way. Don't get it wrong. We are not laughing at them. We dare not. Okay? We dare not. But we are just grateful. Do you understand? We dare not laugh against them. That a hurricane will brood from Africa and go all the way to the people over there. Is that, have you checked your, what do they call them, forecast or something? And it will go there. We dare not laugh at them. We dare not. We don't have it in us. But we are grateful. So when a prayer point is called, if you have a rifle, and they told you your enemies are on that side, and you are here with a rifle, when anything pops, you just, you just shoot. You don't wait. Do you understand? You just shoot. Because you've been told your enemies is, I mean, they are over there. I've seen the case of where people end up killing their bosom just because they are on the other side and I'm here. So when there are prayer points, we are ready. Don't be waiting for long explanation. Release the Lord. And that's what we are doing. So declare that the Lord in his mercy will stop the hand of every flood that wants to come against Nigeria. The Lord will raise a standard against every flood. He will raise a standard against every flood. He will raise a standard against every flood. He will raise a standard. He will raise a standard. He will raise a standard against every flood. He will raise a standard because you are Jesus. You are Jesus.
loving us, for choosing us, Jesus. We are grateful for calling us and setting us apart. We are grateful for who you are, for loving us, Jesus. We are grateful for choosing us, for setting us apart. Lord, we are grateful. Jesus, we are grateful. We are grateful.
intercession and that's what this song is so when you don't even know what to say sing in the Holy Ghost dance in the Holy Ghost The world, they will form slangs. And somebody will start singing kolo, 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 something stupid. And it will become heat. It will trend. You will just say loco, 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 loco. And people will say, have you heard the latest song? Loco, 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 loco. What is that? And it will trend. It will be heat. It will win an award. They will now make a dance for it. But you can dance in the Holy Ghost. So when you, listen, listen, when you don't know what to say, this is what I call faith worship. Walk on water worship. So when I start to open my mouth, he says open your mouth and he will feel it. So when I open my mouth, whatever comes out, if all I can do is, hey, it's, listen, if that's what is coming out because a lot of the time we try to control it in that studio we looked like myself and this guy we looked like we had gone crazy I just know I was opening my mouth my body don't forget every time you do the spirit your body is our well do you know your body does not when you say it dies it's not like it's not alive there's a part that is aware of what's going on I will be telling you, you know you are just saying rubbish. Do you know? And I will tell my body, well, I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm saying it, but I can't help it. That's when the spirit takes over your body. Your body is aware, but your body cannot do anything. Do you understand? Your body is aware of what's going on. Like what happened to me in the place where I went and I was laughing for three or four hours. Now, I am not against, you know, the Holy Spirit can move in different ways. Don't forget freedom. This is what freedom is. And I remember, I never laughed against because I know it's real. The Holy Spirit can move you and you will laugh all through a service. All these ones that we plan service. 
and we decide what will come now, come now. What if the only thing we want you to just laugh? Do you understand? We are not open to that most times because, come on, it's not dignifying. And I went to this place and I had read and I had seen about it. And I'm like, wow, what an experience. Just seeing it, this must be heaven. When someone will be laughing, this is not that they are cracking a joke, nothing. And the Holy Spirit moves you to laugh and you can't help yourself. And I went to that meeting. <laughs> I laughed till, maybe they didn't finish the meeting, maybe nine. I laughed till 12 midnight. And they carried me home. Somebody will say she's possessed. That's what they will say, like, how can the minister be laughing like that? Post that they didn't give you. They took me home. I couldn't help it. And for the time I was laughing there, I remember being on the floor and thinking, oh my God, this is my body talking. You're just making a mess. I was, I was hearing. And the other one was laughing. He could not stop. And that one was saying, do you know everybody is looking? Do you know the place is empty? You are the only one here. I mean, like everybody left. I was the only one in the hall. There was one guy that wait for, waited for me to take me home. Everyone left the minister. Do you understand? Because some of you, when you're a minister, you know, they can't, they, they have to, no, no, no. Why will you just laugh like that? You can control it. You can control the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit controller. You can't. You can't tame him. He controls you. Do you understand? He controls you. That's what happens. And they took me home. And that was the experience we had. Shekun was laughing. I was hearing him. My body was hearing him. And I was laughing at him. But I could not help myself. I don't know if you understand. Because I had not seen him like that. Okay. I was doing my own though. But I, my body was saying, what's going on? This is beyond us. That's what the spirit does. And we were singing this song. And I was ready to just open my mouth. And I heard he was saying to me, just trust me. Open your mouth. Don't always, because that's why most times you are limited. When there's no more words, you now be looking. Some people now form spirit. It's not like the spirit is taking you. You, are, you. There's nothing to say. So you are just there. <laughs> Meanwhile, you can open your mouth. If it's a noise, he says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. <laughs> is, wait, 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 wait. Is that a command? Is that in scripture? No, no, I don't think so. Where? Really? Not sure. Nah, it can be. I think no no no. I, I I actually think it's a saying. Are you sure it's not a saying, a popular saying? It's scripture. Make a joyful noise. Make a joyful noise. So it's Psalm 100. Is it Psalm? Psalm 100. Wow, I didn't know. I didn't know. I do. Because most times you are waiting for a perfect sound. You'll be waiting for the right sound. Some people say, I don't know how to sing. Who asked you to? Why did he say make a joyful song, melodious, sweet sound unto the Lord? He says noise. He says noise. 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 
Noise. It's not just noise. <laughs> Joyful is yeah! says that in the presence of God there is freedom this is what he is talking about it's not so that you start to play we are not playing as much as we are having I don't know if you understand there is fullness of joy like children but yet you are not foolish you are not playing do you understand you don't turn it to a joke you don't turn it to self most of them when they say dance you see people now dance with their they are not even understanding that you are dancing with the Lord they now turn it to joke what's that please give me your hand in the presence of the Lord there is freedom there is fullness of joy without forgetting reverence do you understand as much as you do like a madman you are not forgetting reverence you are not forgetting who you are doing it to it's focused to one person it's not your neighbor's dance it is focused to God I was saying to them that being sober is not sitting in one place and saying I'm sober being sober is to have the right focus so at a fun fair in a beach you can be sober where everybody is just having fun you are having fun and you are focused on the kingdom of God you are focused on his return but yet you are having fun I don't know if you understand so you go to a hotel you go by this pool and you guys are having fun as husband and wife you're having fun I said husband and wife so that some people will not go and carry a woman and say you know you want to have fun except if it's your friend do you understand what I mean but you go by the pool side and you're having fun and you are sober because your heart is fixed do you understand your focus is fixed regardless of the fun you are having the Lord is not against the fun he's not against it do you understand he's not against it he loves it when you have a good time but do not forget don't lose focus don't turn it to child's play don't turn it to anything let your focus remain on God says make a joyful noise unto the Lord make a joyful I said to you if they give you a billion naira you will scatter this place you will carry somebody on your head I've seen where children rejoice and in the home you probably don't come near your dad or your mom but you are so happy that your team won. He said, Mom. You lift your mother. And your mother said, Is this boy mad? And then he said, Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Because you suddenly realized that that was your mother you carried. But you did it out of excitement. You were joyful because of something. Do you understand? 
So I say make a joyful noise. A joyful noise. Baba, 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 baba,
Nigeria back. We purchase Nigeria back from wherever they sold you, Nigeria. Oh, Yakahaba Sakata. With the blood of Jesus that was shed for the whole earth, we purchase you, Nigeria back. We purchase you back by the blood of Jesus. Mayakaba Yakaba Yasataya. We purchase Nigeria back by the blood of Jesus. We declare the gates to the gospel is open in the north by the blood of Jesus. We declare the gates are open again by the blood of Jesus. We purchase Nigeria back with the blood of Jesus. Oh Lord Jesus, before you return again, I will see with my eyes bunkers, crusades, and canoe again. Oh my Father, I will see it again. I will see it again. I will see it on the streets of Kaduna. We will see it in Boronu. We will see it again. We will see it again. We will see it again. Because you are Jesus. Because you are Jesus. No one can lock you out. You are the wind. No one can lock you out. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.